What's up guys, Mike here with another commentary. Here to talk about Hideo Itami, aka FKA Kenta. Now as I said I would be now what I failed to mention in my first com is I'll be bringing a lot of WWE MMA sports news and just basically general topics in the world. Just to, you know, make some good commentaries, get some feelings off my chest. Um, enlighten you, I guess, even though I'm a complete loose cannon dumbass that doesn't know what he's talking about a majority of the time. Except for wrestling. Now, for those of you that do not know who Hideo Itami or Kenta he was just recently signed with WWE a couple months ago. He made his first appearance on NXT TakeOver Fatal 4-Way live on the WWE Network, which you can get for $9.99 with a six-month commitment, or $12.99 without no commitments at all. I would recommend you get that. But anyways, getting back on track here, Kenta was a massive star in Japan, along with guys like Jushin Liger, Hirisho Tanahashi, Kazuchika Okada, Morishima, guys like that. And he was in promotions like Pro Wrestling Noah, I believe he was in All Japan, and New Japan as well. He was signed to the WWE, he went... To um, some training camps and shit at the Performance Center in Orlando under Pro Wrestling Noah's Blessing a couple months ago, and they signed him. And he announced that he would be changing his in ring name in WWE after a hero of his from his childhood, Hideo Itami, which I don't really mind. I mean, would I prefer him to be called Kenta? Of course, but. It's just a name change that Kenta probably decided. So, honestly, I don't care. Whatever's, whatever's good. And the topic is, will he be successful in WWE? Because we all know how WWE has treated a majority of their Asian talent in the past. Hence, Yoshitatsu is a very good example. A star from New Japan come to WWE and get... Buried on. Um, honestly, I'm not nervous at all because the way they've been treating indie talent over the past couple years has been incredible. Hence, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, etc., etc., etc. Luke Harper. Now, what I do think will happen is, I do not think, or I think they might, honestly, I don't really think so, is that they will change his moveset. I'm not too scared of that, especially because of Steen signing, he's going to be doing the rolling cannonball. <coughs> Shit. He's going to be doing the rolling cannonball. Which is a ring of honor move that he used to do. So, I'm excited about that. Daniel Bryan stole one of his moves, the flying knee. Honestly, a lot of wrestlers do that in general. Even mixed martial arts fighters do it a lot. So, it's, it's a basic move. Kind of like a body slam. In a certain sense. Which, I'm not really nervous about at all. I'm sure they'll let him do it. And CM Punk stole the go-to-sleep. Now, I did see a meme earlier today that says, Give me my royalties, you stole my move, with Kenta <laughs> talking to Punk. Uh, shit, that was fu hilarious. I do think they will let him do that for a couple of reasons. First off, we all know WWE likes to pretend that CM Punk never existed for the most part. So they'll just say, or they'll, they'll name it different, and just pretend it's a brand new move. Or, they could also 
and maybe both of these will go hand in hand. They'll let they'll tell Kenta to do the GTS, knowing that he made the GTS popular, to stick it to CM Punk, because we all know how WWE likes to take cheap shots at guys like how a guy like Triple H, I believe, it was last year. He said guys like Jericho and Edge make it because he didn't get along with them, quote unquote. Of course, they get along good now. But we all, but you know, we all know WWE likes to take shots at talent that, that they didn't work well with, such as when Ultimate Warrior wasn't getting along with Vince McMahon, God rest Warrior Soul, or when Hogan wasn't working with them and they took some weird shots at him. Like, stuff like that. I wouldn't be surprised if they used Kenta to take shots at CM Punk. Now, Kenta had some interesting theme music, which I don't have a problem with, him having theme music like that. Honestly, it would fit him, since he's an international Japanese superstar. Quite frankly, I don't mind it at all. <clears throat> Now, without being said, we do know who his first NXT opponent will be. That will be Justin Gabriel. It was reported on the internet via WrestleZone.com. Now, this is spoiler-free. It's just basically who he's facing. There's no who beat who. I didn't get that information, quite frankly. I'm not interested because I don't like spoilers. Now I ha now I don't have a problem with him facing Justin Gabriel as his first opponent because he's new and that's what a lot of debuting superstars do. They'll face a jobber and they'll work their way up. I easily see Kenta having a bright future because I think WWE is getting their shit together with s signing and using specific talent. I see bright things for Kenta going forward or. Or Hideo Atami. Hideo Atami, Kenta. You like the name change? You don't like the name change? Overall, it's the same Kenta. Now, thoughts, opinions, comment, rate, subscribe. I will see you all in tomorrow's commentary. Peace.